Have you ever wanted to become a 3D VTuber but didn't know where to start? Well, that's why it's in today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D VTuber model using a free software called VWord Studio. I made a video like this on my channel a couple of years ago, but this program has had a lot of updates since I last used it. You can download VWord Studio off their website or Steam. I'll link both of them down below. But look at this. They give you so many sample models to start off with. And if you want like a good base or, you know, you could create something completely from scratch. I think I'm going to go with this sample model here because um it looks good to me wow <laughs> the entire ui for vray studio has completely changed since my last video and i noticed a lot of you were commenting about that and i'm gonna be honest with you i love it like seriously it's wow it's just it's changed so much and there's just so many different options for like clothes and hair now compared to before like I, it was very like it's not like it was limited per se but now there's just so many more options and customizations that you could use now like look at this you can get really nitty gritty with like the bangs the side bangs the back of the hair now for the hair like also if you want to have like different ears that can also be done with using hair let me know if you would like a tutorial on making ears and other things with hair and like other cool stuff you can make like that in the comments down below oh and they have a bunch of different presets that you can buy off a booth and i love how it takes you right to the website with all the correct keywords in japanese because i know some people have a difficult time navigating on this website in english but you don't have to pay for every single preset that's here you see this tag up top if you click on this it will show you free presets on booth that you can download and import to vword studio shout out to all the amazing artists who are on booth making these amazing presets to help creators like me make our models feel more unique to our personalities now i know some of you might be thinking oh this is great mari but i don't really want that vroid look you know and i get where you're coming from which is why i want to introduce you into texture editing this is something that I talked a little bit about before in my last video, but basically you can change the shading, the skin color, and overall aesthetic of your model here by editing the texture atlas. And you can either download like different presets from Booth, or if you know how to draw them, then you can actually draw your own textures. And now, unless if you're some kind of MS Paint mouse drawing god, you're most likely gonna want some kind of drawing tablet to go along with that, right? What if you don't have a drawing tablet? Well, that's where XP Pen has you covered, which is today's sponsor. XP Pen has amazing different tablets that you can use for your artistic journey. I am specifically using their Artist Pro 14 Gen 2, which has this really cool X3 Pro Smart Chip Stylus, which the original package comes with a lot of different nibs, so in case if I break any or some get worn out, I have new ones to re replace with. A 16K pressure level, so it has a much higher accuracy compared to other styluses. And it has a much faster response time when you're actually drawing on the tablet. This one has a 1920 by 1200 high resolution, so the 1610 has a bit of a wider ratio screen, which is really nice considering this tablet itself is a lot smaller compared to my other tablet I've used in the past. So it takes up way less desk space for myself, which is really important to me because I have a two PC setup and sometimes I'm trying to make everything fit together on my desk is really difficult when I want to draw on stream. Something that I think is really unique about this particular tablet is that it has an sRGB, Adobe RGB, DCI P3, and like user, like different types of switches for like color display on the actual tablet. And I've never seen something like that before. And the fact that it has like a really high color accuracy makes me feel like I'm actually really seeing the colors that are being emulated on my programs, which you might think is not a big deal, but it actually is if you're trying to draw and get the colors just right. It also has a low blue light eye protection, which is really good because my eyes are constantly being strained and I get really bad headaches whenever I'm staying up looking like a cooked shrimp trying to draw late at night and the actual glass surface is, is a proven ag etch type of glass so it kind of simulates like a bit more realistic pen and paper experience which is super nice because some tablets have this super glossy type of feel with it which makes your pen slide all over the place and it makes it a little bit difficult to draw but that's not the only thing that's really unique about this tablet it has a separate wireless shortcut remote and it's like 10 programmable buttons with a little slidey wheel too for you, that you can literally customize and have any type of shortcut keys that you want it also has an ergonomic design wrist support and what's really cool is that it has built in little like leg stands i'm going to be using this tablet to help me with the texture drawings because it's a lot easier than trying to use just my mouse so thank you xp pen for letting me be able to try out this tablet and for sponsoring today's video now what about if you downloaded a bunch of presets off a of booth how do you add them and is it complex as it was in my old tutorial 
And the answer to that is, um, it's a little bit of column A and column B because it is a lot easier to add your preset in VWord Studio now compared to before in my old tutorial where you had to drag your folder over and all over and blah, 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 blah. Now you can just click over here to import your texture and then select the textures you want to download. However, this is where the complicated part comes in. You see, these custom textures were made by these artists editing these pre-existing textures in Vroid for the most part. So on the Booth website, the artist will tell you what texture file to overwrite in Vroid Studio. The one that I downloaded says that they use the long coat template. And here's one thing that I hope the Vroid Studio developers can work on in the future, and that's being able to hover over the name of each preset that they have because I can't tell which one is the long coat feature until I actually click on the preset and then look at the file name. So whenever you download a preset that you ended up like getting on for booth, make sure you check what specific texture name that is. And well, you're just going to have to click on a bunch of stuff until you find the right one. I feel like if you start working with the V-Ray Studio enough, you'll get a good idea on what the texture file is that you have to edit because if you notice, the texture file has its own unique template that you can also draw on in the texture file editor. I think this is the correct preset. It's close enough. And based off of the file texture, I it, it seems like it's the right one. But I noticed that my shirt is clipping a bit. So I need to erase that part. And yes, you can technically do this with a mouse because again, this is free, right? But honestly, I'm kind of glad that I'm using this XP pen tablet because it gives me way more control and it's a lot faster to erase and draw on this. I really like how in VRide Studio you can draw in the actual application. Like sure, you can also take these texture files and open it in like Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint, but like the whole point of this video is that I'm trying to do all of the stuff within the program so that way it stays like free because I remember a lot of people were complaining about in my old video about the $15 HANA app tool that I had included as a bonus for the perfect lip sync and so in this video we're not including that because that way it's completely free. We don't get perfect lip sync tracking, so I'm gonna have to rely on like webcam tracking in a little bit when we set up our model, but hey, you know what? It's completely free. Now that I have finished customizing my model to the best of like how I kind of like it, you know? All that's left now is to export it and throw it into a tracking program and then add it into OBS and I'm good to go. I'm going to be using VC Face as my VTuber tracking program because it's very beginner friendly and it's free. I'm not gonna be covering everything you can do in VC Face because I plan on doing that in a future video. So make sure you subscribe, Baka, otherwise you'll miss out. Now that my model is connected to VC Face, all that's left is just adding it into OBS and making a new little scene and a source. Oh, but Real quick, before I do that, you're gonna have to download this plugin called Spout. Again, that's something that I can cover in like a future video, but I will link it down in my description. And I like using Spout because it makes your model transparent for the capture rather than having to do a game capture and chroma keying it out because it's very old school. So we go into OBS and then we're gonna add a new scene. We're gonna specifically do Spout. We're gonna select a VC face and then I'm gonna set it to default. So that way it does the transparency. And voila, now I can start VTubing. And if you're really quick about this with all of your presets and you just zoom through everything and download a bunch of free things on Booth, you could be done with this in like 10 minutes and immediately start VTubing. If you would like a full in-depth step-by-step tutorial on making a 3D VTuber from scratch in VRI Studio, then let me know in the comments down below. Thank you XP Pen for sponsoring today's video and letting me being able to customize my 3D model with this tablet. I can't wait to try out this tablet for some live 2D cubism tutorials in the future. And with that, everybody, I hope this could help you kind of start your VTubing journey and start getting more comfortable with using other programs. And I appreciate you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye, everyone.